It's October. That means one thing, especially for our own Tanner Smith. Broke Big ones, small ones, short ones, tall ones, he loves them all. Naturally, for this month's edition of Five Flies, Brookies had to be involved. We have our good friend, Bob Reese, the thinner angler, made a quick two hour drive to Wyoming and targeted some pre spawn brook trout on the still waters of Horse Creek Ranch. This month's selection includes some attractors, some blooming olives, and a streamer. All are appropriate whether or not you're targeting brook trout this month. This is Five Flies for October. Usually we linger at the car a little bit more, you know? What's going on everybody? It is Tanner with Trout's Fly Fishing. We are back for five flies to get you through the month of October. We're here with our friend Bob Reese. Uh, yeah, I had the privilege to get up here to Horse Creek Ranch, have Bob show us around, catch some 
pretty sweet brookies and all that other good stuff. Kind of moving into that fall season as we're starting to finally get some cooler, cooler overnight temps, seeing those cooler daytime temps come as well. Um, with that fall fishing is gonna stay good. You're gonna start seeing blooming olives on all of our free stones, even our tailwaters and all that good stuff as well. Um, big fish are gonna start getting pretty aggressive in our still waters as well as we saw today. So keep that in mind. Flash streamers are gonna be a go-to as well. Streamer season, blooming olive season. Can't get any better than that. Amen. Right? Well said. Thanks, man. Yeah, I can't add to that. Fly number one is a black and purple fusion in size 16. It's a great addition to a dropper rig or even just a straight nymph rig underneath an indicator. It's a really buggy general imitation and provides you with a lot of movement and kind of a nice change up from what fish you've seen maybe throughout the early parts of the season. Who ties that, Bob? I tie that. Oh, dang. <laughs> Uh, fly number two to get you through the month of October is going to be a film critic in the BWO style, size 18s. Uh, look for those. I mean, if you're, if you're seeing those adult hatches, blooming olives coming off and they're being a little picky, having that little film critic, it'll ride a little low for you. It's a great trailer off like an Adams or something along those lines or a true true adult uh, blooming olive pattern. So fish those film critics. You'll have some success on those guys for sure. It's a great pattern. Like you said, rides low, conveys a lot of vulnerability to the fish. Give it a shot. Fly number three is the size 16 fusion in amber and peacock. Great color combination that we know is well proven. Gives you a little bit more natural coloration with fish. Might be a little bit spookier on off colors. Once again, a great addition to a dropper or just an open nymph rig. Give it a shot. And I also tie that one. No shit. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Great. So you tie both colors? Both. Two different colors. Wow. Very impressive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fly number four to get you through the month of October is going to be a, a Creelix. Um, it's a really good streamer. Audition for a super flashy. We're fishing in that kind of silver gold style, but they all work. Um, they're bright, flashy streamers. Love fishing them as tandems. They'll really get some of those aggressive, you know, brookies and brown trouts to send their fired up to, to make, some, make some things happen. Also, rainbows are smacking them today, so. Yeah, Fish Creek looks great boat streamer, great still water streamer, great walk weight streamer. It's a good streamer. It's a great fly. Yeah. If Tanner can catch fish on it, <laughs> anybody can catch fish right, on it. Right, exactly. It's basically like a lure. <laughs> a fly lure. <laughs> fly number five is a micro may in a size 18. Great thing to have in your box in the fall as those betas nymphs start to come back on the menu. Uh, proven pattern put together by Mike Mercer, a great tire out of California. Definitely something to have on hand to help you be successful on the water as we cruise into those cool months. So you don't tie that one? No, I don't tie that one. All right guys, that wraps up five flies to get you through the month of October. Finally seeing some cool weather, fishing's gonna be good. We got water, take advantage of it while you can. And now I'll let Bob tell you a little bit about what he's doing up here at Horse Creek Ranch. So a quick little bit on Horse Creek Ranch. For all you guys down in the front range of Colorado, Horse Creek Ranch is right up here in southeast Wyoming. Sits only about an hour and a half straight north of you guys. It's a great opportunity to explore 60,000 acres. Um, all still water fishing. We have 13 different pieces of still water that we fish up here. I'm the only guy that has access to the property. Um, we are booked through the fall, but I would love to have you up for the spring next year or the summer and really show you what this place is all about. Really cool place to come and just have some solitude on the water. It's a pretty good time. You said, uh, Thank you you said it's all still waters, right? Hey, it is all still waters. We uh, have... What about that time when uh, Tanner fished the moving water? That's right. Yeah, there is a few little tail water sections. They're kind of secrets. Um, being a Colorado guy, as you know, I'm kind of a master at picking apart some technical little tail water stuff here. And if you like that, there's a few opportunities. You'll be surprised. <laughs> 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 That's good for five flies. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully you enjoy seeing some nice brookies and have a chance to catch them here. Oh, this fall. You know where to find us, Trouts. Or email Yvonne, he's the guy who pretty much handles all inquiries at Trouts these days. Yvonne <laughs> Orsic at TroutsFlipFishing.com. Yvonne at TroutsFlipFishing.com.